Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Peter Claver a slave of slaves, and strengthen him with wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help. Grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you once were alienated and hostile in mind because of evil deeds. God has now reconciled you in the fleshly body of Christ through his death, to present you holy, without blemish, and irreproachable before him, provided that you persevere in the faith, firmly grounded, stable, and not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you heard, which has been preached to every creature under heaven, of which I, Paul, am a minister. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God himself is my help. God himself is my help. O oh God, by your name save me, and by your might defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer, 
hearken the words of my mouth. God himself is my help. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord sustains my life. Freely will I offer you sacrifice. I will praise your name, O Lord, for its goodness. God himself is my help. Please stand. Teaching is nigh to my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was going through a field of grain on a Sabbath, his disciples were picking the heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands and eating them. Some Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, have you not read what David, David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? How he went into the house of God, took the bread of offering, which only the priests could lawfully eat, ate of it, and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. When one talks about Sabbath, more than the idea of resting, we need to go through the idea and even about the reality of worship. And in worship, one deals with a lot of black and white. Loss for worship and for the day of the Lord is there. But the Pharisees were so overwhelmed with the idea of celebrating Sabbath by simply observing what to do. Simply put, that the fulfillment of every Sabbath is to be a law-abiding citizen. And there is no problem with that. Pero sa buhay na pinapatotoo at ibinabahagi ng ating Panginoon, lalo't higit nung kanyang panahon, hindi lamang sa pagsunod, nakasalalay ang pagsamba at ang araw ng pamamahinga. Jesus broke the thought and the reality that people has only to follow rules for worship. He introduced them service, care, and love in worship. Ganap na pagsamba Dahil nagmamahal, naglilingkod, at nag-aaroga. This is very much true for us today. Wala namang masama na makita kung nagagawa ba ang mga dapat at ang mga hindi dapat sa pagsamba. Nagiging gabay ito para mas maging maayos at buo yung ating ginagawang pagsamba at ang biyaya ng pagsamba. Pero baka sa laging 
pagtingin o paghanap ano ang mali at wala, baka napapahina natin at ang, ang nagpapatunay, napapahina natin ang nagpapatunay at nagpapaganap sa pagsamba. At walang iba kundi ang pag-ibig sa bawat isa. The Pharisees blinded themselves with this as if it is much better to follow and set aside charity. My dear brothers and sisters, worship may not only lead us to be followers but lovers of each other. Hindi lang tapat na tagasunod kundi totoong nagmamahala sa bawat isa. Dahil ito ang tatak ng tunay na sumusunod at sumasamba. A true follower and a sincere lover. Kung ang mata ay lagi na lamang na naghahanap ng mali at wala, lalot higit sa ginagawa nating pagsamba, baka hindi na tayo sumasamba. Worship is not about fault finding. Worship is all about life giving. And this is the fulfillment of every worship, that we follow what is asked of us, that we experience God sanctifying us and redeeming us, and in turn, we share what was given to us and what we have been blessed with. A threefold action. We follow, we are blessed, and we share. Let us make our worship whole by being faithful followers, open to the blessings of God, and generous in sharing the fruits of our worship by service, by care, and our love. Please stand. Let us pray to God our Father who has called us all His sons and daughters to, be to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. For every petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who work in law enforcement and government may consistently place the welfare of the people above legalistic concerns. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in worshiping the God whom we cannot see, we may not forget our needy brothers whom we see. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Lord may heal those who suffer from various physical and spiritual maladies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. That the dead may now rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. Prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord all of the prayers offered in this Mass. Our prayers for our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming. Our prayers for one another and for our own intentions. For all of these, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect, 
to guide and to be guided. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His, for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Peter, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Peter Claver, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the, the power of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love, for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead and looking forward to his blessed coming we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles us to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heal us every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Peter, Claver, and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, <laughs> who, who art, art in heaven, heaven Hallowed, hallowed be thy, be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingom come, come. Thy, will thy will be done, be done on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all the distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. Me partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Peter Claver, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 